Hey guys, Weekend Homesteader here, and I wanted to do a short video on this Chick Cozy Incubator. This incubator is fantastic. It comes with a really nice instruction manual with a lot of details. You get the progress chart for candling, so it will let you know what to expect from day one to hatch day. And in addition, you get multiple copies of this hatching calendar. These are really nice, and they're, well, they're really well made. So on top of that, um, what I love about this incubator is it comes with a handle on the top. So when you want to take the top off, very easy to do, just lift it off. And look how easy it goes on. You don't have to worry about the bottom edge anymore. A lot of the incubators, they have to match up perfectly. If they're not, then it leaves a gap and the heat and the humidity escape from it. This is just so easy to take off and put right back on and you have no gaps. That is fantastic. To add your water, to increase your humidity, you just pull this little drawer out, put it in there and close it back up. Very easy to do. And um, I will show you. So one thing I really like about this, I get a lot of shipped eggs. So the eggs don't roll in here when they rotate. These tilt the eggs back and forth, which is something I have found works really well when I'm dealing with shipped eggs. Uh, a lot of them have detached air cells, and so this really helps to keep them in place. But I will do a quick demonstration. So just hold this down, and you can see the turners, they're moving. So they're tilting from side to side, and that's what they will do instead of rolling the eggs. Um, in addition to that, take this off, you have this if you want to put a, a thermometer in there. Just slide that right in there and you can put the thermometer on and you can read the temperature easily right from there. In addition, um, check this out. So when you want to clean it or anything, these lift right out individually. How easy is that if you want to clean your incubator? Um, also, on the bottom, let me pull a couple out. Instead of the hard plastic, there's this rubber mat. Let's take this out. So this is a really nice rubber mat that goes in the bottom. It's a nice surface to lay the eggs on and for the chicks to hatch. Really nice to have. Uh, and then you can see the top. It works like most incubators. It's got the candler and the countdown and measures the heat and the humidity. But um, this is an absolutely fantastic, fantastic incubator, and I am excited to be using it because, uh, again, I do, I prefer to rotate my eggs back and forth, tilting them instead of rolling them, so this will be very exciting to use. But if you're looking for an incubator, this one is perfect, um, and again, especially if you plan to use um, shipped eggs, that you potentially might have the detached air cells. This is great and easy, easy to clean. These just pop in and out. And um, I don't know, I, it's just, it's a very exciting, nice incubator. Plus with the plastic around, you get a nice view of inside of what's going on. It, it's easy to see once the chicks start hatching. And um, I, I recommend it. If you hatch chicks and you're looking for a really nice incubator, this is well-made, solid, and I, I recommend it. 